Young Kiri Dynamite here and today I'm going to talk about something that I don't normally talk about. You know, I usually talk about movies, I usually react to things, but today, you know, the slap heard round the world. I feel like I gotta talk about it. Me and my sister, we were watching this live. We had, we haven't probably watched Oscars in a couple of years. Um, we usually just watch for the fashions, you know, what is our baby Zendaya wearing? What's Lupita wearing? You know, things like that. But this year we said, let's make it a night. Went over to her house, she cooked a beautiful dinner, and we watched the Oscars. And when we saw the slap, we did not laugh. We were like, literally, we thought it was a skit. We thought it was something funny that they had planned. But then it panned over to Will's face and he looked really mad. And then we were like, well, they're actors. They're actors. They get paid to act and maybe he's putting on a show. But then you look at Lupita. You, then you look at Lupita and she's like us watching like. And then we're like, oh. I didn't know anything about uh, the alopecia thing uh, with Jada um, and watching Lovely T's video and you guys can definitely go watch it. Um, someone had said that apparently she had shaved her head in, solidation, in solidarity with her daughter or something like that. So I didn't know anything. I just thought Jada shaved her head. Now the joke I didn't even get. I didn't see G.I. Jane and my sister had to explain it to me. And apparently it was a big thing and Demi Moore was praised for shaving her head for this movie. And I mean, I was just like, oh, it's just, it's a shaved head joke. I, you know, I'm not Jada and I don't have alopecia. So, I mean, I didn't laugh at the joke because I didn't get the joke. Should he have said it? Because the other jokes were more movie based. He probably shouldn't have done that joke, especially because everyone has been poking the bear with all of the weird, very weird antics that the Smith family has been uh, doing and showing to the world. Now, mind you, I am not a Chris Rock hardcore fan. And honestly, I'm not a hardcore fan of Will Smith either. I think he's talented, of course. He has very good movies. I don't have a race horse in this race. What is the saying? Comment down below. <laughs> anyway, I do not care. So when this happened, there were a lot of opinions coming out and people were either cheering him on or berating him now there were some really really outrageous uh things that people were saying like he could have killed him with a slap in the face shut your mouth so that was very outrageous now today jim carrey came out and he said that it was um you know very disrespectful it was uh that hollywood is spineless for standing up and clapping for him and i agree it was a very weird situation like why are we standing up and clapping for a man who just went up on stage and slapped someone in the face over a gi jane joke now i people are really like yes protect your wife Da, da, da. I could see if he had said something like really outlandish, really crazy. And again, I don't have alopecia. I didn't know Jada had alopecia and apparently Chris Rock didn't know either. And maybe, you know, stay away from physical jokes. That would probably help the situation. But I really don't think there was mal malicious intent. And I feel like that's what it all boils down to. Um... And at first, the weird thing is, the funny thing is to me, was Will was laughing at first. So he knows his wife has alopecia. He laughs at the joke. Then he looks at his wife. She's not laughing. And so he's like, oh, okay. Walks up to the stage, bop. And then to me, the screaming from the crowd was actually worse than the slap. I was like, I want to uh, talk about the fact that he was made, got up and made his speech and he was crying. And I was like, are you crying because you regret what you did and now you're trying to excuse it with this speech about King Richard and how he protected his family? But did he though? Did he protect both his families? Hmm. Um, interesting. 
get up there, like Lovely T said in her video, and get up there. You want to be big and bad? Be big and bad, Will. Be big and bad. Now, if this was The Rock, he would not have gone up there and slapped that in. If he was any comedian that is the size of The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, he would have not slapped that man. And Chris Rock, I feel like we all know that he's not going to fight anyone, or at least that he doesn't look like he will. So, <laughs> no pun intended. Um, but it was just very weird. It was a very, very weird situation. And I think it's, I mean, I was laughing at the memes. Y'all can go to my Twitter. I was having a good time with the memes. But the more I see it and the more I see what people are saying and like how people are praising him for it, I don't get it. I don't get it. And I'm probably in the minority and that's fine. But yeah, I, I think it's very weird. And I think Jim Carrey really said it the best. Uh, Hollywood is weird for praising him. And it was a bad thing that Will did. And that is fine that he is apologizing now, all of a sudden, now that the Oscars released a... <laughs> The Oscars released a statement saying they don't condone violence, da 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 da. And now Will is like, hey, Chris, hey, I regret my actions. I, I, sh violence in all forms is very bad. And I did a violence, I committed one, and I'm sorry. Can I keep the Oscar? I want to get my case. Jim Carrey had said that it took everything away from everyone who won something or just having a good night in general. Like Regina King was so good and she could have done the whole show herself. She was the shining moment for me, next to Zendaya and Lupita, but, um, and Andrew Garfield, um, and Chris Evans coming up on the screen for two seconds to talk about Lightyear. <laughs> I think it is true. Like Questlove won an Oscar um, and it was just like all of that is now overshadowed by what Will Smith decided to get up and do. And that sucks. Um, uh, it does suck, but you know what? But hey, I mean, it seems to be helping Chris, uh, Chris's uh, sales. His prices have gone up and people wanna see what he's saying. So, I mean, who really lost in the situation? <laughs> Dignity, Chris is rocks dignity but hey i gotta say he took it like a champ he took it to the chin um and he just went on with it yeah i mean like i said i don't particularly love chris rock i think he can be funny sometimes who do i like more will smith i would say but again both of them are not in my top anything so i just wanted to talk a, a perspective from a person who really doesn't care but has a little bit of opinion about it um at first i mean when it happened i really don't i really don't remember having an opinion but oh my gosh please be a skit again he probably should have stayed away from the physical joke you never know what is going on with anyone um but will also shouldn't have gone up there to slap him on national TV when he could have just taken him backstage and been like, hey, or get up there and say, hey, apologize to my wife right now because I have had enough. Now, did the Smiths put their business on Front Street? Absolutely. Absolutely. When you put your business on Front Street, everybody comes to Front Street and they want to uh, hang out on fun Front Street and talk about you and joke about you and talk about August Alsina and whatever ha else happened. Um, now, Laverne Cox had said something last, how many ever weeks ago? And they just, <laughs> oh no, no, don't say that. And they didn't say anything to Laverne Cox. Why? I would have been like, hey, shut your mouth about that. This is the red carpet. This isn't, we're not kikiing in your living room. Um, so she was very disrespectful as well. So I'm like, if you, if one person takes the brunt of everything that you've been feeling, you need to check yourself because it it's obvious, it's very obvious that Will is going through something internally. And I mean, I would too if my wife was cheating on me and then you guys are saying, hey, we have never, ever been unfaithful to each other. 
that's a lie. I don't care what you say. Both of you definitely have. And then people are on Twitter saying, how many times do they have to say that they've never been unfaithful to each other? They literally had a red table talk about this. So, mm, and then Jaden gets on Twitter. That's how we do it. Who? Were you there? Did you get up there and slap? No? Okay, okay. So I just got to touch on this. He gets up there and accepts the word. He gives his speech and says, Denzel told me that when you're at the top, the devil's going to try to come for you. But you gave in. You gave in. You went up there and slapped him. So you gave in to the devil's behavior. I wouldn't have said that. I wouldn't have said Denzel's advice because you didn't take the advice. So, yeah, that's all I have to say about the situation. This video is long enough and I've given this enough of my time. So I'm going to go and tell me what you guys think in the comments. Um, are you in the minority where you're like, hey, that was wrong. Um, there's a part of me that's like, I get it. But there's a part of me that's also like, you definitely shouldn't have done that. And me, personally, I would sue him for all he has. Because <laughs> why not? I mean, hey, get a lot of extra coin towards that generational wealth. You, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I just want to say that Regina Hall is amazing. So good. I enjoyed her. Zendaya looked amazing. Lupita looked amazing. Um, who else? Uh... Timothy Chalamet um but yeah the Oscars it was something um if you have not subscribed to my channel I would appreciate it if you did and um if you would like to see more of these videos where I talk about things that don't really matter comment down below and like and subscribe thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one